Now we're going to continue talking about the Soundscape A6, some of the little more advanced features about our machine. Uh, I covered some of those a little earlier, but we're going to get in a little more detail. Uh, first, starting off, we have the ability to do it a lot with the workflow of the machine. So by that, I'm talking about uh, key functions, for example. So a great thing with our machines here is that there's a lot of one-touch key button. So while that seems obvious, a lot of the smaller machines have smaller platforms. So you have to press multiple keys to get to the function that you want. So the A6 is a really great machine and things like freezing, saving, going through your report, the clipboard with your images, everything is one touch. Really makes it uniform, simple. Uh, it's a great feature. Um, another thing is that uh, we have M tuning. So once again, that's kind of related uh, to image quality. You hit the button, so if you don't know how to change the settings, gain, function, depth, field of view, you hit the button, the computer does pretty much for you. So it's a really great idea uh, and feature that we have available. Um, another thing that this machine does, which not all machines do, is we have a clipboard. So when you take images and you save them, you can scroll through a list and the clipboard is just like a clipboard for pictures essentially on your computer and you see what images are there, you can delete, you can save, you can include, you can forward, basically all the great features. Um, another part that allows you to do a lot of work with this machine is the side axis here. So this is the hardware function. If you take a look here, so not all machines have the capabilities and this is all standard with this machine. So this being human software comes with Daikon 3.0. So it's good for image quality and for sending, saving. Uh, we have two USB port accessibilities, uh, a VGA output, S-Video, and then one of the best things that distinguishes up from everybody else is you have one gigabyte of storage, internal storage. A lot of the smaller machines actually only let you save a few pictures per patient total, uh, whereas ours can do a gigabyte, so you can really put a lot of pictures total in uh, the memory. Continuing on, um, functions. So there's lots of different things that you can do with this machine. You have the ability to have up to eight different transducers. So everything from curved, cardiac, linear, every probe imaginable, we have one that fits in the range. Um, there's also the megahertz range itself. Um, you can go from two megahertz to 12 megahertz. So that is a function of image resolution and depth. The lower the frequency, the deeper you can go. Uh, the higher frequency, the shallower you can go, but your resolution goes high. So a lot of other competitors only have frequencies from 4 to 10, 2 to 10, we go from 2 to 12. So you really get the whole broad range. So you find the right transistor for your application, you really be able to get great images. Uh, another easy thing that we have for functionality is one-touch updates. So when new software does come out or there are changes, or you want to change your uh, packages, you can easily update it. You click on it, save it, update it. And then uh, you can also select the different parameters. So if you're doing like OBE packages or calcs, you can choose what settings and calculations you like to use. Uh, finally, moving along, we're going to talk about some of the image technology. Um, not everyone is an ultrasound tech, so changing all these fine settings is not easy for everybody, and not everybody is fluent enough to do so. So once again, that M tuning, where you hit the one button, everything is done. Uh, tissue harmonics, that's another thing that's built into our machines. Uh, multi frequency, so from 2 to 12, eight different transducers. That's another great feature about this machine. Uh, you have uh, a chroma function, so you can kind of tint the color of the screen. Some ultrasound techs like to do that, some doctors like to read certain types of images. Uh, it's just a feature that is available. Not everybody has that. Um, Continue on with functionality is ergonomics. So we kind of touched on this a little earlier, but basically you have a 12-inch screen with a very large image on the screen. It's not a third of a screen, it's not half, it's more than half. So you're actually looking at a large image, you're not squinting. You have 30 degree angle tilt on the screen, so if you're taller, if you, you know, you're on the field having it in a weird location, you can really look at the screen more comfortably. Nothing's worse than having a bent neck all day. I know how that goes, so it's nice to be able to look a little straighter and not have to strain. Um, three hour battery again. Uh, we have two sockets for our transducers, so since we have eight available, if you have a platform in a stationary location, you know, having four transducers available to flip a switch is more than adequate for pretty much any location, uh, in my opinion. And um, once again, it's light, uh, compact, comes with a carrying case, 
and it's an overall great machine.